I'm talking to you about Ayama harps. When I went to Fukui in Japan, where they are made, I was incredibly impressed with the range of instruments. They started making musical instruments in 1897, and Fukui is really the place in the world to make them because it has such extremes of climate, very cold winters, very hot summers, and so the wood and the instruments become well seasoned, and when they are sent all around the world, they can survive in all different climates, and that really is something quite wonderful to think about when, when you're buying an instrument. They're also superbly made and competitively priced. In fact, the Monarch, which is the, the top of the range of these harps, glamorous gold instrument, is only half the price of some of other makers' instruments. Of course, the, the range that is designed is to really cover all the needs of harpists, whether you are small, perhaps a child, or whether you're very big, or whether you have big hands or small hands. So you need instruments which suit all those needs. And then, of course, there are musical needs as well. Some instruments may be good for playing classical music or Baroque music, and the other ones at the top of the range with such a fantastic range of sonority that can cope with really all the music that's written for the harp. Some of the smaller instruments actually are good enough for professional harpists to give recitals on. And uh, if you're playing early music, maybe an ideal choice. Of course, how one chooses an instrument rather depends on, as I said before, the size of the person. It's perhaps not advisable to give a four-year-old a full-size concert harp because the instrument is so heavy and there's such wide spacing of strings. And so, therefore, the, the, the choice of the harp really is to do with the size of the person and also what you need the harp for. So, another question, choice of music. Another question, sonority. Perhaps you want something which is clear and pure. Perhaps you want something which has a very gorgeous, enveloping sonority, and also sonority that will carry in the orchestra. And of course, the other consideration for most people is how much does the instrument cost? And one thing I can say is that these instruments, for the quality, are the most competitively priced instruments in the world. You might choose, as I said before, that if you're playing folk music or classic music, to perhaps have a smaller instrument, perhaps with a straight soundboard so that the, the bottom of the harp doesn't sound so enveloping. But within this range of Ayama harps, the choice is extraordinary. And of course, the choice of um, how the harp looks like. You know, you've got the, the, the gorgeous gold instruments and you've also got simple instruments, simple carved wooden instruments. There's, there are lovely harps made out of solid walnut. And uh, then, of course, there are some of these beautiful, simple, classic lines. Um, the, the Amphion is, is a case in point. And uh, it's, it's a beautiful classic instrument, just in black or in, in plain wood, but with a beautiful, simple line. So, the choice is yours. <laughs>